there, it's Jennifer, and welcome back to Busy Being Jen. Today's topic is another video in my cruise series or vacation series, and today in particular, I'm gonna be talking about how to get the best seat on an airplane. Because for most of us, if we're gonna be going on a cruise, we're gonna to have to fly to the location where we get on the plane. Now, I live in Arizona, so once for a cruise, I flew to San Diego, the last uh, two times we flew to Miami and this time for our upcoming cruise, we are flying to Denmark. And so no matter how long you're going to be on a plane, it's really nice to get a good seat. A, now a good seat does not mean that it's always up in the front. There are a lot of things to consider. Now, I wish I could tell you all these wonderful things that I would recommend that you consider, but I'm telling you, you need to go onto a website called Seat Guru. Dot com. I will run that down here for you and I will also link it in the space below, seatguru.com. And it will tell you all kinds of things about the seats on particular planes. So you have to know which airplane, like which kind of airplane you're going to be going on. And then um, you can put in specific, if you know your specific flight number, it will bring up the kind of plane that it is. And then it will show seats on the plane and it will show the really great ones, the ones that are really special in some sort of way in green. It will show ones that have, um, that might be considered drawbacks for some people and not for others, those are in yellow. And then there will be seats that are in red that have problems that will make, you know, your trip not as comfortable. Like maybe you're in the back of the plane and your seat doesn't recline. So anyway, I'm going to be quiet right now and I'm going to take you over to SeatGuru.com where I walk you through the exact kind of airplane, not for our flight, but the exact kind of airplane that we're going to be on when we go to Denmark and I'll even show you how we picked our seat. So let's go and take a look. So here we are on SeatGuru.com and I am doing a search for a flight. I'm not doing my actual flight, but... All right, so I'm just doing a generic search here so I can show you this, but you'll actually have a place where you can put in your flight number. I just put in for a, a flight from Phoenix to London, and then I'm clicking on seat map. And I'm gonna take this very first flight here. This is the kind of airplane we're going to be taking on our trip. And this shows the whole, you can see it shows these seats in the front are the ones that are, I'm um, sorry, uh, these things in the front are like beds, and so those are really desired and expensive um, places to be on an overseas flight. And then these right here in this section also recline all the way back. And then we get to the regular passenger seats in the back. You'll notice that this front row, has um, seats that are half yellow and half green and that means that there are some good things about them and bad things about them and if you hover over one of the seats it will bring up a window that tells you about it and so this one basically says that uh, you have more leg room because it's in the bulkhead area but that you don't have place, a place to store luggage or um, you know any kind of a carry-on bag under a seat in front of you. Um, it's good if you have a young child because there's a little changing area there. Um, if we come here, this one right here is telling us that it's, it's in green and it's telling us that this one ha doesn't have a seat in front of it and so there's extra leg room. This row of yellow seats right here, these are right next to the bathrooms and the place where the flight attendants are working and so you cannot recline in these chairs and let's see why they're calling it yellow instead of um, instead of red may have limited recline and proximity left to the lavatory and galley may be bothersome hmm. I don't know that surprises me that they're not listing that as red okay so then I want to show you this is the cool thing right here you see those green seats right here. Um, all right, these red ones, let me show you. These don't recline, and so that's why they're red. These right here, they do recline, but see where the back of the plane starts to curve in? They're more cramped seating, and so they, those are not considered to be the best. And then this one right here, these two seat, these two rows, 
Um, there's not a third seat in here. This is an open area where you can actually store your bag so you could have more leg room under your seat. And so essentially there's an aisle on this side and it's almost like you have an aisle seat on this side too. And that's what my husband and I have chosen because then we don't have anyone in the middle seat and we can kind of have a little bit more room because we're going to be on that plane for a long time. So isn't that the coolest thing? I don't even remember how I stumbled across that. But when I went to Finland a couple of years ago, my uh, coworker and I selected those seats that I showed you that my husband and I had, and we were so happy to have those seats because it was really nice not to have somebody stuck in a middle seat or to be sitting next to people we didn't know. And you know, to have that extra space was just wonderful. So when you are booking your next flight, do not book that flight until you've taken a look at the um, floor plan for the plane so that you can choose the best seat. I hope, I hope this video was helpful for you and I hope I'll see you again on Busy Being Jen. Take care you guys. Bye-bye.